welcome to Red Dog Gaming guys and welcome to my journey across a map so large that even Legend of Total War would struggle conquering it all. This is Imperatoris Mundi and this is most probably the largest map you are ever going to see on Rome Total War. Good lord look at this thing! It is huge! <laughs> it is massive! This mod basically takes Rome Total War map, injects it with steroids, then gives it EPO, then gives it a blood transfusion, then slaps it in the face with some ammonium salts and says, go and lift that bar. It is huge, guys! 630 regions in this map. Lovingly recreated by Da Wang. I know that name is quite funny, Da Wang. Um, I'm hoping they're referring to their last name being Wang and not their penis. But who knows? Most likely they're referring to their penis. This is the internet. But yeah, lovingly created by Da Wang um, across um, some ancient maps to try and recreate lovingly and responsibly what the maps would have actually looked like at the time uh, including a lot of ancient settlements as you can see look at this guys i am playing the seleucids uh, probably the largest starting faction and how many regions do we control 59 yep yeah, 59 at the start of the game guys that's uh that's quite a lot as you can see though guys it is not all easy plain sailing with this mod. A lot of these places have serious, serious, serious garrisons. Look at that. That is a fat garrison over there. Um, if we take you boys. And of course, as you can see, the movement range has been increased. So you can pretty much, you know, plow through a few settlements in one turn. Or get to the other side of your empire if, if need be in a few turns. Let's see how long that would take. Three or four turns, which is pretty decent. Um, so, look, I, I mean, there's no point going through every single settlement that's been added because it's basically all of them. It's basically all of them. Like, it's 630 settlements. So, a few other changes, including the movement speed. There is a reduced distance to capital penalty, of course, because you are talking about vast vast territories that you already own which is kind of crazy but of course it's capped at 80% in the base game anyway so even if you get it up to 80% you should be trying to maintain public order with it at 80% anyway and the Marian reforms for the Romans require three huge cities which makes perfect sense um, on top of that cities do upgrade at slightly higher populations so let's have a look so a minor city, 6,000. A large city, 18,000. So the minor city is the same, uh, but the large city is no longer 12,000. It's 18,000. And a huge city is no longer 24,000. It is 30,000. So that's quite a considerable increase. But of course, that makes sense with the amount of settlements out here. I'm just thinking about the obscene, obscene amount of slavery bonus you could get in your settlement uh, as population growth increase if you went through a few of these settlements and enslaved them. I am not going to lie, that could probably be vulgarly massive. Like, it could be huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Of course, um, it includes all the base game nations, but no added nations and no changes really apart from that. So, at the minute, you can see it's not really that balanced, most likely. Um, <laughs> because I haven't really changed anything apart from add a load of settlements in. So you are going to be making obscene amounts of money to start with. Um, but you do need obscene amounts of money because you have 59 settlements. <laughs> oh, God, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I've never seen a map like it. They do say it was inspired by Imperator Rome. Much like the Alexander Total Overhaul mod that we looked at the other day. So look at this. All the way out to the far reaches of India. I want to see someone <laughs> conquer all of this. And I want to make sure 
that there's a psychologist on hand to make sure that they don't go mad while doing so. Because that would be an absolute trek. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That would be a lot of hours of gameplay, guys. Especially with all these places being pretty well filled out. Um, do we start a war with you? No, we don't. Oh, what about you? We do start a war with the Egyptians. Um, so we will do a battle, guys, of course. Like, we like to end all these mod videos with a battle. So we will do a battle. What is this army, by the way? Ah, uh, phalanx pikemen. Some shitty eastern mercenaries. Peltas, archers. Some companion cav and some elephants. Ooh, very nice. Armoured elephants as well. That's fantastic. Um, but yeah, the real sort of thing with this this map that I think could be its real um, selling point is, look at all this, all the way down into uh, Central Africa as well, which is crazy. I'd like to see what some of these uh, rebel settlements have. The Kingdom of Kush down here, of course, in Ethiopia, but that would be nice. But I would love to see this mod combine with something like Imperium Serectum or Europa Barbarorum, something like that, where they can add a load, a load more factions in here, because obviously all these rebel settlements could present a bit of a rebel spam problem, um, which would be very hard to deal with and quite annoying if you're just getting attacked by rebels all the time. Uh, but the thing is, you've got to be aggressive and take out those rebels then, don't you? Uh, but yes, I would love to see them work with someone like that, to maybe add a few factions into this because, of course, there needs to be an Indian faction. That is all just rebel territory out here. Like, everything. And the game doesn't even like it. It's starting to starting to, uh, starting to bug a little bit over here. I don't know why. Uh, I'm starting to drop frames over there a little bit. Um, but, yeah, that would be amazing if they could do that. And that would really, really sort of um, cement this as an amazing mod, not just an amazing map, if that makes sense and rebalance it for the amount of settlements there are here. But, honestly guys, lovingly created, huge map, based on historical data, based on what we can get um, at the present. De Wang has poured over the maps, of course, to make this map, and it is amazing. So let's get into a battle, guys. I know it's going to be just a standard generic battle, but we've never seen the settlement of Gardara before, and we're going to destroy the walls, because why not? So let's end the turn. We're going to be making 49,719. I can't imagine this makes my CPU and RAM very happy right now. Not going to lie. Even though I have a 1080 Ti. <laughs> but, yeah. Armenia, what do you want? Are you trying to bribe me, you bitch? Stop it. Uh, rebels. The rebels are the longest faction. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of rebels. <laughs> there's quite a lot of rebels. <laughs> Not going to lie. There's a lot of rebels. <laughs> I mean, it'd be fun on this to play like Seleucia because of how big you are to start with. I think playing a small nation would just be a little bit overwhelming. Except you. Uh, but would a large nation be overwhelming? That's the one thing. So if you build up a large nation, it's easy to know where to start. Whereas if you start with a large nation with this many settlements, 59, it's hard to know where to start and what to do and where all your troops are and all that sort of thing. Um, so it might even be, better, be better starting as a small uh, as a smaller nation and building yourself up. Right, they have nothing. Well, that's great. We'll kill them. It's going to be elephant spam, guys, just for the memes, of course. Just for a bit of fun. I love elephants in this game. They are just so OP. It's silly. I think in my Parthia campaign, I had elephant scopers at once, and I used them a lot. An absolute ton of times. And only once did they go berserk. So, you know, they are so OP. It's absolutely ludicrous. Ludicrous, my friends. But yeah, this map needs extra factions. It needs someone to come and add extra factions. I don't know whether Dewang will add extra factions as well, which would be amazing. Um, but of course, that is a lot of work. But he's done an amazing amount of work to try and get this map in production already and out there ready to go. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see where this map leads. 
Because if, uh, if they could add it into Europa Barbarorum or Imperium Serectum or something like that, it'd be amazing. Genuinely amazing. Before night comes, the battle, battle will, will be, be done. done. Whether the day goes well or not, it's in our hands. Brave sons of Greece, fight well and earn the favor of the gods. Of course, we are Hellenic, so we are the brave sons of Greece. Sicilian we'll use the Sicilian pirates, Sicilian. Easterns, to go destroy these walls. I hope you can all sap. Sicilians, can you sap? Yes, you can. Um, get, uh, well, no, actually, don't get you there, because you guys here, you guys, you guys here, there, you guys there, what else do we have? We've got Peltas, I mean, we don't need them. I mean, of course, it's going to be elephant spam, guys, it's like, there's no other options. I'm sorry, there's no other options. I don't know why I'm moving these troops around because I know for a fact it's going to be elephant spam. Greek cavalry and companion cavalry though is very tasty. I absolutely love the look of these boys in the realistic setting on remaster. Where's the uh, companions? Look at them. They look glorious with their little lederhosen hats on. Lederhosen helmets. Come on the boys. And here's the armoured elephants. Watch out, watch out! No! <laughs> so playing uh, Empire 2 Total War mod recently, um, in that mod, if you charge your elephants or your cavalry through your own units, your own units die. So that's a really interesting addition. But it is quite annoying sometimes when you tell your cavalry to charge something a long way away and they still kill your unit when it's going through. But you could AOR it. Um, so I don't know. The one thing we've got to be careful of with the elephants is charging into a phalanx head first. Because even though they're Nubian spearmen, I charged my elephants into a militia cav a militia spearmen once in the Parthia campaign. Uh, militia hoplites. And uh, unfortunately they ran away. They were so scared by the spears that they ran away. They didn't go crazy. They just ran away. But let's try get them through anyway. I don't think the Nubians are going to pose too much of a problem. Come on, the boys! Let's go! Uh, we're going to those Nubian spearmen then in the side. We're getting shot. Yes! Oh, we broke them. Kill them. We are getting javied, but we are armoured elephants, so it doesn't really matter. And also, you know, I'm not playing this mod right now. I'm playing, uh, oh, they've come back. That's annoying. Um, I'm just playing the battle just for fun. And just to show you guys a battle on the mod, even though the mod is the same. See, like, the spearmen are actually really good. Do you see that? It killed them. Well, um, let's go for Cav. Uh, we are fight fighting phalanxes, though. Oh, they've gone mad. They've gone mad. Well, that's annoying. Get rid of them, then. Don't need them. Don't need you to go mad, my boys. You get after those slingers. We'll send the Eastern Infantry in to try and take these walls. We can. Uh, you go after them. And then we'll start moving the phalanxes in a bit closer. I know they're going to get shot slightly, but it's okay. As I say, we're just playing a battle, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we're not trying to conserve troops, like, perfectly. Come on, Sicilians. Just get into them. Go, go, go. Charge! The Sicilian pirates are absolute beasts. Oh, look at them. Spitch slap those guys down. You guys get there. You guys get there. We'll surround them, but these Easterns will run. Definitely. Ah, we have Antiochus. Interesting thing to note, guys. Antiochus named nearly as many, I think nearly or more cities after himself than Alexander did. So there's a lot of Antiochs out there. A lot. Like a genuinely an absolute load. How are you not beating freaking slingers, Sicilian pirates? Melee attack of 10, boys, and you can't beat slingers. That's embarrassing, bro. Let's get through. And we'll bring 
Do we need anyone else? Not really. Ah, uh, Eastern. Oh, no. We're, they're running. That's perfect for us. You're steady. Yes, boys. Well done. Right. You guys up. Quick. Up. Quick. You guys up here. Quick. We'll take that gate gateway. Come on, Sicilians. Let's go. Fire your jabbies. I tell you to move quick, my boys. Get up there. Get up there. We're getting shot to death. Just get up there. Quick. Ah, oh, Sicilians. I should have sent you up here. Just get there. Otherwise, we're getting shot. But it doesn't matter. As I say, it does not matter. You guys get in. You guys get in. Just, just run. Like, it doesn't matter about you being in phallic's position right now. You guys can get there. Get you down. Sicilians, get up. Stop that one firing. You boys. Go after those skirmishers. I know. Oh my god, look how far you have to run for that. That's an obscene amount of... You don't need to do that, bro. Just get down here, then. Oh, you come here. Come on, Sicilians. Get up. Get there. Come on, boys. Kill them. You guys kill that singular Nubian Spearman. Oh, look at them. What a mess. These are silver shields as well, so they are... Oh, no, they're just phalanxes. Why are they saying silver shields? Oh, I hate phalanxes in cities attacking. They, they're so useless. Like, genuinely useless. They always point the wrong way. Do exactly the opposite of what you want. Well, let's speed this up anyway now. Okay, at least they're fight facing the right way this time. Right, you boys, let's go. Should only need you boys. He's dead. Ah, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. So you look like, what are they doing? Like, stop that. Just do something properly. Oh, Sicilians. Let's get you through in the middle. Let's go. Let's just get in the middle. See, like, why are they facing that way? Stop it. Come on, boys. Walkie, walkie, walk, walk, walk. Pokey poke. Guys, seriously, why do you guys enjoy this so much? <laughs> why do you enjoy Hellenic Nations? I mean, Seleucids actually is my favorite nation, so I can't say that. But they have a diverse roster that's not just Hellenic. Oh, that was just brutal. Go on, boys. Pokey pokey stick time. Pokey pokey stick time. Pokey pokey stick time. I see they just did the freaking shuffle across. That was shit. But oh well. But yes, you get the gist, guys. What do you think of this mod? What do you think of this obscenely large map? Do let me know in the comments down below. And if we get enough likes on this video, if we get up to 25 likes, I may do a live stream on this map and see what it's all about. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video.